Hey Team Shuckle, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Today we are continuing on with the premiere challenges. This is round three. So at this point I am one and one in the tournament. Uh, this is against Alvin Lockman. I, I really don't know if that's the right pronunciation or anything of that sort. Um... But that's what I got written down, and I don't even know if that's right. Uh, so he brought Rotom Wash, Venusaur, Talonflame, Mamoswine, and Aerodactyl. Now, uh, you know, obviously Mega Venusaur is probably one of the scariest Pokemon to deal with. It's, um, it, Venusaur in general, they're just really bulky, really hard to take out. Um, and I do have Gang uh, Gardevoir specifically for Venusaur. It can take anything a Venusaur wants to throw my way. Um, can't take a Sleep Powder, but it outspeeds... Or, it doesn't outspeed, but, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, so... You know, looking at his team, I was figuring, you know, he's probably gonna bring the Venusaur. Uh, but the more I looked at his team, the more I realized I didn't really want to bring Gardevoir. Uh, you know, Gardevoir doesn't hit anything but that Venusaur. The Mamoswine can hit it pretty hard, the Aerodactyl can hit it pretty hard, the Talonflame can hit it pretty hard, the Rotom Wash can pretty much stall it out for days. So I was thinking, there's really no reason to bring it. So I figured my other anti-Venusaur, the other thing that I have good for Venusaur is Gudra. Gudra can take all its grass stabs, it can take the Sleep Powder because it's Sap Zipper. So that's what I decided to bring. Uh, I ended up starting off with my go-to lead when, you know, there's really nothing else that I need to worry about. And that's Mega Kanga's common Gengar. So let's get started, see what he starts off with, um, and see what we can do. Now one of the most important things about this team to realize is that before I hammer arm, even one time, if I hammer arm one time, you know, what I'm about to say is wrong, Rotom Wash will outspeed me in Trick Room. So, as long as there's a Rotom Wash out on the field, I have to be very cautious because they can burn me, and I don't really want that to happen. So, of course, he does start off with two of the biggest threats to this lead, and that's Venusaur and Kangaskhan. But, you know, I was sort of expecting him to Sleep Powder uh, the Kangaskhan, um, while Burn is sort of a bigger thing against Kangaskhan to put it out of battle completely for three turns is pretty big um, but it turns out he actually wants to burn it instead so I ended up not getting a trick room off so here's an issue he mega evolves but I don't really necessarily want to switch out you know um, I'm sort of worried I know I can outspeed both of these so I decide to just double edge this Rotom, but it has a Citrus Berry, and I'm like, oh my god, this is so bad, I'm not gonna take it out, it's gonna burn me, I'm, that's it, that's game. You know, I, I don't know what to do against this thing. So he goes for Giga Drain on the Kangaskhan, and I'm thinking, why didn't he burn me or sleep me? And what I'm assuming is he probably expected a switch out. He probably expected me to switch out, to take the burn, so he went for a double attack to hit the switch out, and he probably expected Gengar not to do anything. So, of course, you know, I'm a little worried again. Um, I don't want to necessarily kill off my Gengar, my, um, Kangaskhan just yet, because I ha I need, need it for a couple of things. Uh, so I switch it out, and of course, you know, I'm expecting to take a, um, special attack, so I bring in Gudra. And that works out very well in my favor. Uh, so here I actually protect, because I'm sort of expecting him to you know, either double target me or put me to sleep, because I, I doubt he's going to try and sleep out of the Gudra. So, a little weary, uh, and I go for the Protect here. Now, he does actually end up attacking the Gudra, but it really doesn't matter. He does get the Poison, uh, but in the long run, I mean, I don't, I don't really think the Poisoning really wor is too bad. It's, you know, these are short games. It's not going to eat up a lot. So, he comes in with Mamoswine, and I'm thinking, okay... I could probably survive an Ice Shard, right? Um, so I go for Flamethrower on it. Now I know it's probably going to be thick fat and it's not going to do a lot of damage, but double attacking it will probably do a lot of damage in the long run, and we end up actually taking it out. Uh, I assume he went for Icicle Crash, so it was actually a pretty good play on my part. I would have taken the Ice Shard pretty easily, to be quite honest with you. I mean, I'm, I'm designed to take a Dragon Claw from non boosting item Garchomp, so I mean it's pretty easy to 
figure out that I was going to survive that. So he comes with the Talon Flame, and I don't really have a safe switch in with me. I do have my Rotom Heat, of course, but not. I didn't bring it for this match. Um, so I decided to just let him take out my Gudra because I know with the recoil and all of that going on, I will be able to one shot this Talon Flame with Shadow Ball, and that's very much what I do. Now he goes ahead and puts my Gengar back to sleep, but the cool thing about Gengar is I don't care. I really, really do not care. Now, he only has the mammal or the Venusaur left, and I decided to do sort of a risk. I wanted to stall out this turn of Trick Room, and the reason I wanted to do that was because I was very, 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 very concerned if I would outspeed this Mega Venusaur in Trick Room, and I wasn't very sure if I would. So, I decided to stall out my own Trick Room, go for the Double Edge the next turn to hopefully KO it. Now, it doesn't get the KO, but let's remember what a Venusaur has. I got his entire moveset here. He's got Sleep Powder, he's got Giga Drain, he's got Protect, and he's got Sludge Bomb. Now, remember what my Gengar runs? My Gengar runs Focus Sash. So, even if one of those were super effective, no matter what, I'm going to be able to take him out, so I figured, well, who cares about Gengar, just leave him in there. I'm Focus Sash, he's got nothing for me, uh, I'm pretty sure his primary attacks, as we saw, really won't do enough. So I was just like, let him sleep, let him relax, just don't worry about it. You know, if Double Edge doesn't kill, Shadow Ball certainly will. And that's what I went for, and um, it worked out in my favor. So it was a one, it was a 2-0 in my favor because I did actually have Scizor in the back. So on top of all of that, I had an, another Pokemon in the back who carries Lumberry. So I was just not worried in the least bit. I was, this Venusaur was dead no matter what. Awesome. Uh, and the one time so far that I brought Scizor doesn't even get to be used. I don't really know its role, but it has a role somewhere, and I do use it occasionally, and it does have its benefits, and I've never really needed to replace it, so I don't know. <coughs> but that was the battle, that was round three, so it's 2-1 in my favor so far in this tournament, and I'm pretty stoked, I'm pretty happy so far. So thank you guys so much for watching, really, truly, truly appreciate it, and I hope to see you guys at the next episode. Peace.